Hey, what is up guys? My name is Norton. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 2. That is correct. Rockstar posted out a newswire just a few hours ago, not only discussing the winners of the Snapmatic contest for the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 1, but in addition, they mentioned some words about the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 2, as well as a small teaser image of what we're going to be seeing. So let's swoop straight into the information, but before I do so, if you could be kind enough to leave a like in the ratings below it would be very much appreciated in addition i do recommend you subscribe to my channel so never miss out on any more grand theft auto 5 content just like this every single day but let's get into the video and let's talk about this ill-gotten gains dlc part 2 which we have seen on the newswire so so far we haven't had too much information about this dlc which is quite understandable however rockstar did post out this image which we can see on the screen right now this image was intentionally uploaded to rockstar Star to show off the new Anima bonus designer shirt, which is in fact a collectible which you can get in crate drops right now, and it's only available for a limited time. So if you are thinking of getting this shirt, get online now and try and find yourself a crate drop. But we are not looking at this shirt because Rockstar have given this guy a sort of pose which you can't originally do. And this is one of the first times I've seen Rockstar upload an image like this showing an online character because his pose is him leaning against the back of his vehicle. Now, not only do we have this pose in the image, you can't actually do this in the game as of now. However, we do know that the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 DLC is coming out in the very near future, which is something Rockstar did post out onto the newswire right at the bottom of the post. I'll show an image on the screen right now, and it shows Rockstar saying, look out for Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 2, which will be coming in the near future. And in addition, we see a new event weekend, which we'll be seeing corresponding to the DLC. However, what I'm going to be focusing on is that this article does talk about the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 2 coming very soon in the near future, and we have an image of a character who is doing a pose we cannot yet do in the game. We could go on the fact that Rockstar are trying to do this to try and show a better outlook on the image and show off this shirt and a better pose, but that's not like Rockstar in my opinion. Rockstar always tease new DLC items in images, and I've done videos on these in the past where they've shown heist clothing items inside images for just random articles, and Rockstar seem to do this. They seem to love hinting at things in images on their newswire, so I really wouldn't be surprised if they were hinting at a new animation pose, which everyone has wanted in the community, which will be coming in the Ill-Gotten Games DLC Part 2. But I also want to know your thoughts, guys. Let me know in the comments section below by leaving a comment about what you believe we are going to be seeing in the Ill-Gotten Games DLC Part 2. For any of you guys who want to know my opinion about what we are going to be getting in the Ill-Gotten Games DLC Part 2, then I I honestly believe we are going to be seeing things which we didn't get as much of in the part one version of this DLC. For example, we got tons of new vehicles. We also got really expensive air vehicles as well, which could suggest that we are going to be seeing easier money-making methods by using the part two DLC through new challenges or just new game modes or anything like that. Rockstar could be inserting new mini games, which will give out higher payouts or maybe even new heist missions. Who knows? We could be seeing a whole new range of things. And if you had to ask for my opinion, I think we would see things which Rockstar didn't add in as many of in the part one of this DLC. So new animations, and new challenges, new game modes, and new missions, and I, that's just my opinion, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you did enjoy this info and secrets of the ill-gotten gains DLC part 2. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like in the ratings, and I'll catch you guys next time.